Hey guys, I'm finally back with a new video today, and today will be about the new big update that came out. Um, it's fairly big. It's not as big as like Industrial Revolution, but as you notice right here, Revolution. And it costs 600 crowns, but it allows you to re-choose one of your nations. I'm currently the Chinese nation. I have a chance to choose one of the other seven nations, or six nations. You know, and it tells you like the unique unit and the benefits that they have. And so... That's one of the biggest things. One of the next biggest things is actually changing one of your wonders. But it's also 600 crowns. So I, I, I agree. I don't think it's too much. Uh, maybe for the wonders it's a bit much. Uh, but I think it's necessary. So then people can't just keep changing it over and over and over. You know, so. And you're capable of getting over 600 crowns just by playing the game. Without buying anything. Like, you see me right here? I have 999. But before I had like over 1,000. So I mean... I'm definitely, it's definitely possible. And they have an event, I think it's this Friday or Saturday, and it's where they have a ton of stags coming out, like more than usual. So, you guys, you gotta make sure to get a chance to get all those crowns. And so, another thing that they've changed a lot is the library. They changed a lot of stuff around. Um, I can't really remember what they changed around, but it definitely looks a little bit different. They kind of just kind of sorted some stuff around. I mean, it's not really a big deal. Um... They changed some of the library stuff, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, one of the other things that they changed is also, you can see, for the Chinese nation at least, I don't know about the other nations, you see the town center, the house, the temple, the vault, you know, the library. It just looks so nice, you know? I like how it, it looks very authentic, I think, you know? And I like the way it looks like. It looks way better than it did before. But too bad I'll be changing my nation today, actually, on this video for you guys, because I kind of regret choosing the Chinese nation. I didn't think it was that good. Um, you know, it wasn't the best thing. But something talks about some of the other changes real quick. So one of the other changes is in your alliance. Before, when you click info, it didn't do anything. But in my, when I click info now, you can kind of see like their development process, their nation's levels, what wonders they have. Uh, that's pretty awesome. But you have to be in the same alliance to check that person. You can't like pretend if you go to players you can't just like okay i'm just gonna click this guy and see what you know you can't do that it just says visit so you have to be in the same alliance with them at least to see you know all their development stuff and so that was one of the other things that was really cool i think they just changed a couple other things one of the other big things that it wasn't the earlier update it wasn't too long ago either is betrayal i don't have it yet but when i get war academy level five then i can get betrayal basically i can change over a couple of their troops to become my own troops which i think is kind of interesting um it says they'll prioritize cavalry and you can't ever was a cup make a general betray his country you know his nation so that's understandable but i don't even think generals are that good in, in this game they're more like meat shields, in my opinion. So, that was, you know, that's a lot of big updates. They also changed the thing about the leagues. Like, now it's more like daily dock bonus versus... And then you get a battle bonus instead. Which I think is better than just kind of having to choose food and stuff in the dock. Because when you get at higher levels, 10k is not going to do very much at all. You know? So, let's see, guys. I want to really show this on video for today. So revolution. I'm currently the Chinese nation. Basically, I get an extra citizen and more defenders in my town center. And my unique troop is that it's an archer that shoots faster. To be honest, I didn't think that was that... I don't know what I was thinking back then. I think I wanted the extra citizen to build stuff. But I don't think it's not, it's not that necessary. The British people, they get more loot. And they have... Um, their longbowmen have extra range. The French, they have faster training, and they also have uh, a cavalry unit that has more health, I think. The Germans, I'm not quite sure. They have a quicker rally time. Um, besides, I'm not really sure either. Uh, let's see. The Greeks. Oh, yeah, that's, that one's pretty nice sometimes. The free upgrades under 15 minutes per age. So, I think it's like s five ages that you go through. So, you get like an extra 25 minutes, and it's like 40 minutes. But, to me, I don't mind waiting. Japanese, I actually have it in my secondary account. If you guys watch my videos, you kind of know already. So I don't know I want to do that again, but Romans. I'm, I was thinking about really changing to Romans because you can get a larger army. So you get plus, oh, let's see, plus 
10% on the maximum army size. I guess they changed it. They used to do like five troops for every age that you go through. So that's like six or five ages. So you get like 15 extra troops. But I guess it changed now. So I don't know if it's as good. Let's see. So basically my max is 120, right? And I get 10% of that. So that means I'm going to get uh, 12 extra troops. That's actually pretty good. So I can get 132 troops. And it's some more of an offensive unit, and which I think is really helpful. And also, their unique troop has more health. So that will help me withstand more catapults. And I'll be able to still, it's kind of like a fuser still. So I can still shoot over walls and stuff like that. As long as they're like right next to the wall. So actually, I think I'm going to change the Romans. Um, I think this will be a good choice. Uh, I see a lot of people use it, but I think that it's just my choice. I think I want to be more offensive than the Chinese troops, you know. The Chinese troops don't have that great. The archers, I mean, I can just use 10 archers and still kill all the troops. You know, it's not that big of a deal. So let's change over to Romans. Oh, no. Okay, I hope I made the right choice. I kind of will regret it, but I think it's going to be a good choice. So, Romans. So now you see how everything has changed. My town center has changed. I lost one extra citizen. Um, my temple has changed. Um, I mean, I don't really, the aesthetics I still think are nice, so I don't really care too much. But now one big thing, guys. New troops. Oh, this is so awesome. The Fusilier, but it's, it has a, I can't, Praetorian? Pra, Praetorian? Praetorian Fusilier. So basically, I still have the range where I can shoot over, but look how much health that is. 683 health. That's awesome. A musketeer, um, basically it's the same damage I had before, but it just doesn't shoot as fast. I don't think it's a big deal. My lancer, it's still a lancer, they just look a little bit different. Bombard and uh, supply wagon still look the same. So, I have 12 extra troops, so let me, I guess, build up some more fusilers. It's gonna be awesome. Yep. So now the max troops, guys, is 132 troops. That's a lot of troops guys it's freaking a lot that's that's awesome though I'm, I'm glad that i chose the romans they have a lot more health so they'll be able to withstand a lot more stuff eh, i can notice some changes right off the bat like my farms they're a little bit you know they look a little different i like the aesthetics of the chinese nation better but i mean the romans are definitely a, one of the best nations like offensively wise so i can definitely agree with that oh my gosh now if you change again it costs 1000 so if you keep changing it keeps costing more and more so it's not going to keep costing 600 each time so that's kind of a bummer but it's understandable they don't want you to just keep changing whenever you feel like it and so that's a good thing i think that they implemented i'm still waiting for the industrial age i think everybody's still waiting for that and it's going to be awesome and so let's see let's might as well just show off like how strong these troops are and how much health they have you know so oh uh. so this is interesting they kind of changed up the campaign a little bit they kind of like the one that's not completed yet is in the front now which is for me it's the three kingdoms so that's kind of interesting okay so i have a peace treaty might as well just you know get rid of it it's fine because you always have to do it eventually if you want to attack so let's just test it out i mean this is an easy base but mm. Let me just find a little bit harder one. If anything, if not, I might as well just attack anything just to show them off. Uh, it's level 35. It's gonna be pretty easy. Let me see if I can find a little bit harder one for you guys. Hope you guys are really enjoying my videos though. I really like making videos for you guys because I think this is a lot of fun. I'm glad that this game has came out because it's a really fun game. I think everyone would enjoy it a lot. Okay, let me just... Let me try taking out this guy, okay? So, he's level 70. I think I'm gonna need to use some dynamite on these mortars, because they are they do a lot of damage, and it's really annoying. I'm gonna use one and that one, and that one. Okay, so let me, first I'm gonna set up my lancers, because then they'll kind of draw the fire away. Oh my gosh, really? Let me see if I can get back into the battle real quick. Please don't exit it. Really? <sighs> Come on, guys. 
I know, this really dumb. I hate when that happens. If you ever guys had this happen, you guys know how I feel, you know. It's really annoying. Didn't think that would happen again. Uh, usually it doesn't happen when I'm on, on when I'm recording, but, you know, sometimes it does. So that's quite, an, that's just really dumb. Like, they, they still have some really frustrating bugs that they really need to fix. But, you know, for the most part, the game is quite good. I, I do enjoy it. It's just when I'm recording, I don't, I wish this stuff wouldn't happen, you know. Okay, come on. Okay, so I lost two Lancers. Luckily, I didn't put anything else uh, up out. Like, I didn't put anything better out, so. I'm just gonna do it without the Lancers for now. Might as well just keep, uh, let's just keep going, because I don't want to waste more time cutting videos and stuff when I can just keep attacking right now. Okay, ooh. I did waste two Dynamite, though. Ah, ah, really? This is really dumb. Okay. Ah, let's just get past it, okay? So, let's see. Man, all these level 38s, it's... It is because I'm at lower level, so, I mean, it's understandable. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in a lower league right now because I was trying to get back to the higher league eventually. Okay, I might as well just test it out against this. Let me see if I can just beat this then, hopefully. Okay, so... He has archers and a catapult on this left side with also a coliseum. Huh. Let's see which way is the best way to attack. I think I'm going to attack from this bottom side over here. Because I don't have lancers right now, so they can't attract the fire, but it's okay. I think I can deal without it. Okay, I'm going to put my supply cart down. I'm going to put my, the rest of my fuselers out. I'm going to put my catapults out. I'm going to put my alliance troops out. I think I'm going to need to... Oh my gosh, see that? They can withstand a lot of stuff already. They have so much help. Okay. Everyone rally back over here. Hopefully my wall miner breaks the next set of walls. That'd be really helpful. Okay. Yeah, see how they're, they're withstanding that catapult. That's really good. Um, I might need to stop one of them though. Let me see. I'm gonna stop this one right here. Okay, come on guys. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm gonna stop that mortar right here. This is a this is a tough battle. Okay, so let me take out that. Okay, I, th I think I can still do this. Okay, come on, guys. Oh no! Take out the catapult, please. Okay, I'm kind of. I think I can do this. Um, there's a stable over here, a garrison over there. Um, okay, took out the redoubt. I don't have many fusers left. I only have archers mostly, so or musketeers, sorry. I keep forgetting the names because the names change, so kinda have to get used to all the names. I mean this raid's not bad at all from any standard in my opinion. It's just not doing the best I can right now. Okay, I'm gonna take that Encore Watt out. I took out the other ballista tower or cannon I guess it's called now. Okay, taking out the take out the town center. So I can at least get two stars in this one. It's not too bad. Um, that call seems annoying. That garrison's annoying. Uh, okay, I'm gonna stop saying annoying. It's all right. I'm trying to stop my habit. I really am. Okay. Let's see. I think I can do this though. I have 50 seconds left. I think I can get maybe three stars if I'm lucky. Yeah. Okay. It was easier to said than done. Let me attack. Ah, oh, the cow traps. Ah, uh, stupid cow traps. Okay. Oh, what the? Did you see that? They just they just went to the other side somehow. They just like. Flop to the other side. How did that happen? I don't understand. You guys saw that too, didn't you? You just think my catapult went to the other side of the wall somehow. It's not even possible. Ah, uh, who knows? I did lose all my troops though, because I'm not gonna win this one. But this this guy is about the same level as I am. I mean, I did a decent job, I think. It's not the best I could have done. Um, I wish I didn't use all my dynamite on that game that just like closed out on me. That's really dumb. But, okay, yeah, it was not bad. I think this is a good raid. I think it's good to show off how I attacked. And see that league bonus? I think that's better than having, you know, just get to choose from food or gold because it's not enough. That battle bonus will help out a lot, especially at the higher leagues. 
I was in the Silver League earlier, Silver League 1 actually, but kind of wish I stayed in there now for a little bit, but it's okay. So, I really think I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep subscribing so you guys can check out new content I'm going to upload. I'll always try to get the new stuff that's going to come out like the Industrial Age when it comes out, try to get it out as soon as possible. Um so definitely guys if you can choose your nation again, what would you guys choose? I chose the Romans, but what would you guys choose? And I'll see you guys next time.